What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a great gameplay against a guy running Deuce Close. His name is Kerry Q. He's been in a lot of live events over the past three years for the MCS. Very good player and probably one of the best players running Deuce Close. So it's a great game for you guys and it's going to allow me to show you guys how I like to stop the run. It's going to really help you guys. He goes from Deuce Close to Ace, uh, to single back Ace. Different I forms and Strongs and stuff like that. He just tries to run the ball a lot. And I'm going to show you guys a great way to stop the ball. I did it all night long. And it's going to really help you guys, I think. With that, I hope you guys would just take a second, hit that like button for me. It really helps me out to continue to bring you guys great content, and I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, boys. So as always, I can't give you guys a face cam simply because during the Mudhead games, you're required to not have an overlay, not have anything on your screen except for the GameCast so that they can GameCast it to their own channel. So can't provide you with that today, but I can give you guys some really good commentary. I can try to be as lively as I can be. And I can try to uh, refrain from saying uh and um and stuff like that. I know I do a really bad job of that. I've been working on it. So hopefully I can do it. And let me know in the comment section if I am doing a bad job. Because it means I need to get better. Constructive criticism is always great in my book. But we start on offense here. And we're in second and five. Big play here. And we throw an absolute laser to Julio Jones's helmet. Tough break right there to pick up 40 yards and not get anything from it. And then the next play, take a sack. Really, that's just extremely unfortunate considering the fact that we threw a wide open pass the play before and it was wide open and we just don't catch it. Next play, I feel like I actually do throw a laser and I pass let it down. I actually thought I should have gotten completion on that. I get a weird animation where it jumps behind and turnover on downs. Not the best start you're going to get to a game, especially against a good player. But as you can see, he comes out and deuce close. We blow up his wham first play. Next play on stretch, I do a little thing where if the guy's coming to block you, you can spin your user around. It prevents them from blocking you in the back and getting a penalty. And then you can make the play on the ball. So that's what I was able to do right there. And we got to stop. Now, right there was a little bit unfortunate. We had a cloud out there for his slant. But his curl kind of glitched out my cloud and allowed his slant to get there. And I just don't really feel like I should have given him nine yards on that. But... I guess the curl affects your cloud a little bit, and that's why he was able to do it. He ends up picking the first down up on that fourth down, and he's back to the run again. He's going to try to tote all game. You guys are going to see it. I do a good job. I almost stopped him on that fourth and one. I really, really do keep him from getting any big runs off, and I just continue to see that like one, two yards blow up in the backfield. Unfortunately, he was already down here inside the 10, so one and two yards will usually cut it for you, and he punches it in right there. So... Really an unfortunate start to the game. We had an unfortunate uh, stop to go down to give him the ball. And then he we gave up a fourth and one where we could have got off the field. So we're down, I guess it's six on the, I forgot he missed the extra point. But regardless, it's unfortunate to be down one touchdown when you actually feel like you've played decently. So right there, we hit our out route, pick up about eight, make this manageable. Now you guys are going to actually see me run the ball more than usual today in this game. I actually don't run the ball very much. If you guys watch any of my previous gameplays, you see I don't run the ball much. But I really felt like I was feeling it a little bit with this inside zone. And I feel like the way this game's, the way that Madden 19's gone, the longer the year's gone on, the better the runs became. And right now, the run is really good. So I did run the ball a lot. Right there, I really thought I beat him deep. That was a deep third. I think if I, I try to pass it to the right, but maybe if I do it a little bit more, that's a touchdown. So another unfortunate break for me, considering we could have had... A uh, long pass on my first drive and maybe a touchdown on my second drive already. But, oh well. Back to the run we go. See, on these second, third, and inches, I used to pass the ball a lot on them just because I felt like people expected the run. But the run's just really tough to stop right now. So I, I don't mind going to it. Right here, I actually have X. But he does a good job. On that on that route combo with the backside S post and the crosser, if you're using it, if you're on defense, you should fake go back, fake go back. I never leave the crosser. Me personally, I don't ever leave it just because... Your opponent expects you to leave, and they end up just throwing nothing and throwing it away. But not a big deal. Third and three here. Trying to go to a, a, probably our favorite shortest, like favorite short route play. It's the double hitches with the flood concept on the left. And it works perfect for us. We pick up a first down, and we're still moving. So this is a really good drive, especially a good bounce back drive from when you go down one stop. If you get stopped on a first possession, and they go get seven... You better go get some type of points on that next drive. Otherwise, you're going to be in real big trouble. So it's good that I've been able to put a drive together here. Right here, I felt like we had it. If we have an accurate pass there, you probably get the, the ad catch animation where they lock you into a straight up and down and you come down with it. I feel like I catch that 9 out of 10 times. 
but unfortunately we overthrow it we get sacked the next playoff in insta shed and we get ourselves a field goal now i'm going to tell you guys a mistake i made i always try to tell you guys something i make mistakes on i really felt like he was on aggressive right there i, th I said to myself after that sack i said to my chat because it was during his uh during the game i said he's on aggressive i got a fake hike from now on i'll tell you right now i did not fake hike the rest of the game and there's some, a couple other instances where it's like oh yeah he was on aggressive i forgot to fake hike I'm, it, I was beating my, up, my beating myself up about it after the game because I was like, I really had to play offense the whole game when he was on aggressive. That's so hard to do. And I just felt like that was a big mistake and it really cost me in, in, in some big situations to make it. I probably could have maybe blown this game open if I hadn't let him just sit on aggressive the whole game, making, it, making my offense tough. So right there, a nice little drag by him. Pick up seven, make it a third and three. And we're continuing just to make him take his short routes and make him... Uh, Make him not be able to run the ball effectively, so he has to take these passes. Someone like this it comes out and deuce close. Carey's actually probably the best passer in it, but they don't want to pass really. If they can, if they can just uh, run the ball every down, they would. They'll be successful with it. And I felt like I made him pass more than he wanted to, and that's a good thing. So right here, he goes back to his double drags, picks up about nine. He's moving the ball well, taking his short passes, but. Slowly but surely, I'm picking up on what he's doing. I always tell you guys, always try to pick up what, what they're doing. He really hasn't thrown anything other than a drag or a slant or a curl, like, all game. He hasn't thrown any of his posts. And that's him making good reads, because that's not what I'm taking away. But someone that wants to run the ball, make them make tough reads. So I'm going to start trying to take away take away his, sh uh, his short stuff and make him throw deeper routes. Make them a little bit more uncomfortable. You want to make someone uncomfortable if, they, if you feel like they're moving the ball too well on you. Stuff like that is just sending more pressure, playing more aggressive, things you can do to help throw them off their guard. Right here, we're actually about to have a wide open out route. But, <laughs> bro, this game is crazy. The tight end stands there in a three-point stance. And I get sacked because of it, and I don't get any points. I had a big chance at three right there. If I could have just gotten a pass and gotten out of bounds, I had a good chance at three. Instead, my out route, which I'm banking on being able to throw that, or my crosser out of bounds... I couldn't throw either of them. The cloud dropped back on my crosser because the outrow didn't take him out, and I couldn't throw either of them. So it's just another tough break right there. Not the biggest of breaks, but it was unfortunate. Right here, nice little check down by him to pick up nine. Coming out of half, we're down six. I really feel like I need to stop right now. If I give up seven, I'm going to be in a really, really tough spot against a guy who wants to run the ball. When people want to run the ball, they're going to take the clock off. So being down two possessions is really tough to a person like that. So, fourth and three, I need to get off the field. I know what he's going to. He's going to the double. I, I thought, actually, sorry. I thought he was going to the double drags. That's what he had went to all game. I expect him to go to it again. And he had a good mix-up. He threw his deep post. He beat me. He beat Dion over the top, 99 speed. And he got a touchdown. Unfortunate break there, guys. And very next play, we throw it right to him. I should have highballed my crosser. I didn't. We throw a pick six. So, I tell you what. This game has spiraled out of control for me, right? It spiraled out of control for me. I was in a great position, and I gave up a deep bomb touchdown on fourth down, and I throw a pick six the next play. Now we're down three possessions to a runner. I'm thinking to myself, this game is cooked. I had even a guy on my chat. He came in. He was like, why is this guy still in the game? Like, the game's over. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to go try to get a quick seven. Because in all honesty, I played good defense this game. I forced him to at least, I think, three fourth downs, and... He's just converted all of them, and one of them was for a 70-yard touchdown, and I threw a bad pick six. Outside of that pick six, I've played good offense, too. Like, I felt like not great offense. There's some things I could have done better, but I haven't played bad offense. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to try to try to fight this and just try to get a quick seven and then try to bounce back. I'm not going to quit just yet. If I could stop right here, I probably would quit. But you guys know I wouldn't be giving you a video if I lose by 25 points and I quit in the third quarter. So you guys know I'm going to start to get it going. And let's see what happens with that. Right here, we go to PA slot corner. Take my drag underneath. Get my first down. Just keep moving the chains. Just keep grinding it. It's still the third quarter. It's five-minute quarters. You can make a run at this game, especially if you can keep lock up, locking up the run. So that's what we're going to try to do. Right here, we just take our hitch and just keep that chain moving, baby. I don't want to take a big hit, so I get down. I'm trying to score as quick as possible, but I don't want my guys to get too tired, so I'm not going to be spinning all around like a madman. Right here, we actually have, I think, Delaney Walker in the game. That's it. That's why he's so slow. But he was the guy open, so I'm going to pass to him. And he actually gets eight yards for me. So we'll take it. 
Back to the run here. We had Delaney Walker in a receiver. I was like, you know what? I really can't pass right here. There's no way I'm passing with Delaney Walker and again a second time. So we ran the ball, but he's in a third time. So I'm like, gosh, dang, man, what am I going to do? So I ran my hitch play simply because I felt like with that hitch play, Delaney Walker wouldn't be the read. It would be the Y receiver. So it ended up working out for me because I got a first down, but that was the pass I went to simply because I didn't want to pass to Delaney Walker. Right there, one of our new favorite red zone plays, PH lock corner, and we make it 22-10. So I'm like, all right, guys, thank you. We finally picked it up. We got our quick score. It's still the third quarter. We can get a stop on this possession and really change this whole game, and that's what we're going to try to do. So second and one here, try to blow up the one run, and that's that manned up safety right there. Dion or and Ed Reed were manned up, and they shoot that gap perfect. And they blow up they blow up his running back next play he goes to the stretch manned up safeties again we get two on him fourth down and one told y'all i was locking up the run crazy i just had to get off the field and he goes to wham we got guys manned up and we blow it up man let's get it we're back in this game crazy now this this game just completely changed for us we're now down only two possessions with a chance to make it one and we hit pa slot corner and julio does julio like things 90 break tackle guys great player breaks the tackle spins them out and now it's one possession and he starts to sweat when you get the when you blow a 19 point lead and it becomes five you really really start to sweat and right there he throws the lurky jerky we're all over him right now boys i told y'all i would fight in this game because i was playing good defense and i was playing good offense and I just had to make it like make it count. I actually just had to put some things together, put a stop together. When I force a fourth and one, get off the field, which I did. And when I get into the red zone, get a touchdown, which I did. So we're back in the game. Now, right here, we highball. Guys, you know that animation. We've played it all year. You never, ever, ever drop that pass. Oh, it was a heartbreaking drop right there. But it's third and five, and we're moving. We go to our out route, and a cloud flat knocks... Um, the cloud flat only holds me at three yards. I, I couldn't believe that. I'm not going to lie to you. That was a cloud flat that tackled me right there. And right here, we go to our favorite play. I guess he had a soft squat out there. And the soft squat, instead of playing my out route, played my hitch. And we turn it over, guys. I know. I know. Super sad turn of events right there. We were all over. And we, were scoring, we scored a touchdown. Got a stop. Scored a touchdown. Got another pick. We're just literally making play after play after play. And we lose all momentum on that stop right there. But it's okay. We're still only down five. We're doing a good job on defense. No one can argue that. We are locking him up right now. The only thing he's really gotten all game was a stop that forced a touch that, that gave him an easy road to a touchdown and then one bomb. But fourth and four, guys, this is the play of the game. I need to get off the field right here. And I just made one mistake. I had a hard flat in that flat on the right. I had one. I change it to a deep quarter at the last second, trying to prevent that bomb over the top. And he didn't go to it. And we give up the first. And that, that one was killer, man. That was really the play of the game, that fourth and four. If we stop him right there, there's no doubt in my mind we don't score a touchdown uh, in the red zone because we, we really were moving the ball well. We just had a couple unfortunate events and we made one bad read all game. So tough break there. He motions out a slant. Ed Reed on cross man gets burnt. And that pretty much does it, guys. He's gonna run out the clock. But I'll use it just kind of I'll use this clock just because you guys know it's over to kind of tell you guys what my mistakes were. My number one mistake, letting him play on aggressive all game. You can't let someone just sit on aggressive. It makes defense way too much, uh, way too easy for them. You shouldn't allow them to do that. And I made it tough for myself right there. Then I felt like it was a little bit unfortunate that I gave up that deep ball. I should have been on that. I had a middle deep third on that play and i got rid of it so if i keep a middle deep third i probably don't give up that bomb and we make and we make a good comeback and then finally the only mistake i really made the really only mistake i made after that in the second half was trusting that hitch that hitch hitch uh flood route again i had gone to the hitch hitch flood route on the right which is our short uh yardage play pretty much the entire game uh, i'd gone to it at least three times so you got to know a good player is going to be expecting it. So if I had to get a short down, I should have went to something else. That's a mistake by me, and I'll own up to it. I do feel like we played well enough to win this game. If I don't throw that pick six, we definitely win it. But the first half, a couple things just didn't go my way. A couple unfortunate things. And then that last drive, the couple drops that I had, especially that ag uh, streak one that you almost never drop. But it is what it is, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.